everybody, my name is Andres Salazar and you're watching The Art of Comics. Today, we're gonna look at a bunch of comic books I just bought. Hey everybody, let's do this. Let's just start looking at this. I've just got two, uh, let's just check this out, dude. What do we got? Number one. Uh, The X-Files. Okay. Uh, IDW, number one. Uh, I don't know what year this was. Looks, looks, uh, see what's going on. Season number 10. I love the show. I was a huge fan of this freaking show. Like, I even made a board game. I wish I still had that game from the show. I loved X Files. So, this is kind of cool. IDW does good stuff. I'm kind of curious about that. What's next? Robocop number one. Frank Miller. Wait a minute. What is this? Hang on. Now I'm going to, I'm not going to do this every time, but. I'm curious about what this is all about. Now, I know he wrote a screenplay. Um, I wonder if this is um, like an, adapt an adaptation of that. When was this? Oh, yep. What's that? Sequential adaptation. Boom. Yeah, this is his story. Okay. That's cool. I'm down with that. I'll read that mug. What else? Um, dreadful. What is this? heck is this whoa what is this this is some crazy black and white what is this who is this people i'm digging it though who made this what is this, what is this? huh dreadful duo huh okay i'm down with this oh there's some big titties okay uh <laughs> okay we'll deal with that later okay uh what else we got Ah, uh, free comic book day. Okay, we're just, that's fine. I don't have this one, but I'm not a big free comic day. Whoa, another X-Files. What is this? Issue two, okay. Or no, wait. Yep, issue two. I'll take it. Okay, another Robocop. Frank Miller's. Okay, we're gonna do that whole deal. Okay, what do we got here? Army of Darkness. This is so exciting. I know you guys think it's super lame, but I don't know what these are. <laughs> Who knows what this is? I bought this. It's fun. Okay, uh, Army of Darkness. I never was an Army of Darkness guy. Um, I know, I know. There's another Army of Darkness. Okay, one and two. This is as far as he goes on this. Okay. Uh, that's fine. What else we got? We got DV8. DV8 number one. I don't know DV8. Um, I always thought this was like a, like a Gen 13 thing. Um... I just never got into it. I just don't know much about it. And there's another one. Ellis. Is this... Ellis? Uh, is this uh, Warren Ellis? Let me look. You guys are in the comments below. Because you subscribe and you like the video and all that jazz. Uh, what do you guys Yeah, of course it's Warren Ellis. Created by Jim Lee. Okay. No, it's Warren freaking Ellis. Huh. What year was this? When was Warren Ellis doing this stuff? Hang on, I gotta find the gear of this biscuit. 96. Oh snap, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm down with this. I like Warren Ellis. I know that he can be a little like, much sometimes for people. Um, but I like it, I like it. Okay, there's another Ellis. Okay, so he's got a couple here. Girl in the undies. Another one. Another one, but Humberto Ramos. Uh, another one. I always thought of Humberto Ramos uh, with Wolverine. I remember him doing it. Oh man. Okay, so he's got a whole little like uh, what you call it run of this. Okay, he's got he's got two of these mugs. Okay. More, more, more. DV8. Okay. Looks, and then now we got Hesler. I don't know who that is. There's another one. Okay, so he's... Okay, oh my gosh. Okay. We got the DV8 coming out. The, the wazoo. Looks like I'm going to be reading a bunch of these mugs. It's 15, 16, 17, 18. How far do we go? 19. Maybe this 150 comics is just all these guys. Another one. Another one. What is this? This kind of... I like this. Cover looks weird. Okay. Um, how far are we going? We're going some more. Um, yep. 
another one. Do I like that? Yeah, it's okay. I'm not really into the art style, to be honest. Um, I just can't get into it. Yeah. Um, I don't want to say it's pedestrian, because I always think that's kind of goofball to say, but it's just, uh, I mean, it's good. Hell, I can't do it. I'm not I'm hating on it. It just, uh, just doesn't just doesn't hit me. But this guy, oh, who I bought this from, really likes freaking DV8. So, I mean, 32 issues. What is that, year and a half? You know, that's, that's a lot of comics. There you go. Oh, and that was the last issue, too. Okay. Dolls. What is this? Um, I know Stuart. I don't know these other guys. This looks kind of same thing-ish. <laughs> There's another one. Okay, I don't know the creators, and I don't know that, but that's okay. So, there you go. Some comics. Uh, what else we got? What is this? This looks kind of cool. The same from hell with more... Wait, wait, what now? They came from hell with one thing on their mind. Defiance. Okay. I like the painting. Cover's cool. I dig that. I dig it. I don't know what year this was. I'm kind of tempted to see. Okay. I like the I like the covers. Actually, you know what? Let's open this up just just to look at it because I like the covers, but that's you know as we know that can be a little deceiving. So oh no, same guy. It's all painted. I like it. It's all. I mean, it's digitally painted, but it's okay. That's nice. Yeah, might not be quite my cup of tea, but I dig it. Okay, I don't, I don't know these guys. Um, hmm. What year was this? 2002. Okay. Powerhouse. I never, never heard of that powerhouse. A little like uh, branch of. Image. Okay, uh, Defiance again. Uh, Defiance. Ooh, what is this? The Record of Lotus War. Oh my goodness. I love, I want to see the art in this. I love that stinking anime, dude. Um, should we do anime in this? Comment below. Should we do anime? I mean, I can talk some anime too. I'm not afraid of that. Okay, black and white. This is definitely, um, Manga-ish, manga-con. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I ain't, I ain't hating on this at all. Okay. I ain't hating on that. I like this. What else? We got another one. Yeah, Record of Lotus War, dude. I like the borders. I like these kind of like, they're not bleed. You know, they just kind of like, I like the bordering on these. Just feels kind of cool. Like this one, not so much. I like the borders on those. I don't know. Although I do like this, though. This is kind of cool. I like that. That's neat. Deedlet's Deed Deedlet's Tale. Oh, it's another Lotus War. Okay. CPM Manga. I don't know that company. I haven't heard that. Deedlet's Tale. Yeah. Cool. I dig it. What year is this? I bet this is again the nineties. Just feels like it. Let me see here. Let's go. It's not in the front. Let's go to the back. Oh, oh sweet. Homegirl signed it. Uh, what is this? What year does this say? Mm, 2000. Okay. Huh. Cool. More Lotus War. Nice, dude. I'm excited about these. Looks like there's a couple different, um, Maybe miniseries. The, the Grey Witch and it's Heroic Knight. Okay, it's a little... Okay, we'll check those out. Nice. Nice little Lotus War Hall. I'm, di I'm down with that. What else we got? Cross-Gen Chronicles. Okay, dude. Okay, let's talk Cross-Gen. I thought Cross-Gen was rad. I loved what they were doing. I loved that it was like doing the bullpen. I know it must have been horrible to have everyone move to freaking Tampa. I don't know what is up with Tampa and how all these big companies, even nowadays, are like moving people to Tampa. 
So I don't know what that's about, but um, I love the concept that everyone kind of goes and kicks ass and works together on a team, and I just like that. And I thought they had some really good stuff. I don't know this one, though. I don't know Chronicles. Was this the one that Bart Sears was doing? Like, uh, yeah, there's Barbara Kessel. I know her. Ron Mars. He just <laughs> he just tweeted uh, at me yesterday about some Kickstarter he's doing. I'm like, yeah, man. Sure. Rock on, bro. Ruse. Yes. This is great. Uh, I didn't know it was Dominic for Five Eisners, but it, it deserves it deserves to. This was great. This was Mark West. I mean, excuse me, Mark Wade. And um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Geis? Is it Geis? Geis? Butch Geis? Great stuff. I have the 12 of these. Mystic. I don't have this one. I don't have this one, but I'll definitely read it. Uh, negation. Oh, he's got a bunch of number ones. That's what he's about. Negation, number one. Okay, the prequel. I don't know Negation. First. This is the one that was Bart Sears. And I didn't know Barbara wrote it. Okay. I'll talk to her about that next time. I don't know if she moved out there or not. She probably did. Cross Genesis. Don't know what the heck that is. Maybe it's like a event book. I don't know. Okay, cool. Got some Cross Gen. I'm all about me some Cross Gen, dude. What is this? Cliffhanger Zero. I have no idea what that is. Um, oh my gosh. Look at this. Freaking Poison Elves. You know, I've always been interested in these, but I didn't know what to think of them. So let's just freaking open this up. Let's just take a look, because I don't even know. Okay. It reminds me of like, um, Service guy, but Dave Sims. I don't know why. Uh, okay, I dig it actually. Yeah, this is kind of cool. I like the blacks and stuff. I mean, this is issue 22. Yeah. This is cool. I've never read these. I'm just curious to see what this is about. And they had these like interesting colored covers. It wasn't painted, but or maybe it is painted. It's kind of a weird mix. I don't quite get it. There's another one, number 24. Nice. Mature readers too. Yeah, it's that's quite interesting. It's a little it's a little rough. But I dig it. I think the big old boobs on there. That's cool. Uh I guess Drew Hayes is the guy. 29, 30. This is fascinating, dude. I'm excited to read these. I might even like read some of these with you guys or share my thoughts once I've read some of these. Okay. Oh, there. There you go. Little titillation. Okay, what else is going on? Let's move these that way. Okay, that's cool. A bunch of poison elves. I'm all about that. Best 25 bucks spent. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe not that. Uh, California out there. You know, I've seen this in like the 25 cent bins a million millions of times. Uh, again, Ramos, not a huge fan of his, but I totally acknowledge his his ability. Uh, Augustine is amazing. I loved his stuff. In fact, dang it, that reminds me. I need to do a uh, Gotham by Gaslight episode. i got to put that on the books. Um, this is great. Oh, I love this stuff. Yeah, cool. I'm all about checking that out. What is this? Nash. Oh my gosh. Is that freaking, is that freaking, um, freaking, that's, um, uh, big sexy daddy, uh, freak, uh, Kevin Nash, dude. They got Nash, duh. It's Kevin Nash. It's freaking Diesel. What is this? Okay, I'm excited to read that. I'm all about reading that, dude. I'm all about reading that. That's fun. Oh, snap. More poison elves. Yep, we got some more poison elves. Look at the difference, though. This kind of this is so bizarre. Cause check this out. Um, I apologize if I'm always on this side. I gotta put it more in the middle. I got like, um, I mean, these look like two. This gotta be two different people, right? Yeah. Oh, that's why it's Leisner. Okay, 
Okay, yeah. This is the guy who does uh, Ghost and that stuff. I mean, this is wonderful. He painted it. And I'm like, what is this? Yeah, okay. Makes sense. That's cool. Number one. Is it like a real number one? It can't be. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Freaking A. The Poison Elves. There's some more. More Poison Elves. Okay, he likes this Poison Elves. I mean, this must be good. I have no idea. I am... I am not knowing what is going on. Um, but we've got more of the Poison Elves. That's cool. Dang, we got a whole, whole... It might be the whole run, or... I don't know about the whole run, but... Got a lot. Okay, cool. I dig it. I dig it. Okay, what else? We got a jam on this. Uh, out there. Okay, that's... Oh, that's that one we just saw more of. Okay, so he's he's got a little bit of a run on this one, too. So it looks like this must be good. Or at least enough where this guy liked it. So another one, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Humberto Ramos, dude. He did these huge, like, um, I mean, you know, it's very um, caricature, you know, comic book. I can appreciate it. I really, Now I'm really tempted to read these because if you get, my thing is, like, if you get, you know, 12 or more issues of a book, you gotta like it. It's gotta be decent enough, right? I mean, what is this, Agent X? I love this cover. Man, this cover's really cool. I don't know Agent X, though. Um, I'm kind of out on my Marvel, so I'm kind of been out there a little bit. Okay, what else we got? Another out there. More out there's. Another out there. Another. Okay, this guy's legs out there. And we've got Meridian. Okay, now we're getting into more cross gen. Meridian, Meridian. I never read this one, um, but I I did hear that this was a good one. I liked Ruse a lot because it's kind of that Sherlock Holmes. But um, this looks good. Oh, Sojourn. Yeah, dude. Dude. Oh, look at this. Signed up the yin yang. What is going on? We got signed by Greg Land. Ron Mars, maybe that's Drew or somebody says her, I don't know. Sweet, cool. I'm all about signed comics. I like that. Okay, that's short box number one. Next up, oh, we got a couple trades. We'll take a trade or two. Look what we got. Freaking battle chasers, dude. Oh my gosh, I got the originals of these somewhere. This was just a crazy, oh, yep. We gotta remember freaking Red Sonia chick, whatever her name was. Red Monica, was it? Um, from what I recall, he left comics and went to video game design and probably made. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's so, that's so crazy, dude. He, he went and did video game design, and I think he went off in the sunset making a crud ton of money and probably happier. Because you didn't have to draw all this stuff all the time. I mean, this is just a... Uh, I ask myself all the time about comics. And I love it. But there is a, a element of masochism to it. Um, oh my gosh. You cannot be a goth kid in the 90s and not have this damn book. Um, I don't know where my copy is. But this will be a lot of fun actually to reread. This, I mean, I don't know how much money this guy made or even how much Slave Labor Graphics made off this, this one freaking book, but it's up there. It's like no joke Walking Dead money, you know, maybe not Walking Dead because they didn't have a TV show, but I mean, it's up there, dude. It's up there. I mean, we're talking every freaking hot and topic in the nation had five copies on this ready to go. And this was just one of those books that if you were just disgruntled in any way with society or your mom or whatever, you read this book. Um, and it was kind of crazy. And it was out there. Yeah. Wow. This is a lot of fun. I'm really excited to read this. Oh my gosh. Blast from the past. Okay, what else we got? Terminator Salvation. Okay. All right, another IDW. 
You know, I'm not huge into the um, license stuff, but Terminator with up oh, as a Beasley. You gotta love the biz, man. Who did the art inside? It's not him, that's for sure. Love his stuff. Love his covers. He's just the best, man. I'm sorry. Another Beasley. Yep, love them covers. Another Beasley. Yeah, and that's great. Got my bees on. Got my bees on. Okay, what else we got? Mm -hmm. Another Robocops. Uh huh. Ooh, this looks good. This almost looks like uh like Gemma Food maybe or something. It's, it's not Gemma Food, but it's somebody like that. Okay, I'm down with this one. This one I'm excited about. Um, Cthulhu Tales. Oh, that looks kind of cool. What is this? Skyrunner. Okay. What is this? Dark Days. I bought a little bunch of them. Um, okay. I don't know it, but I'll check it out. A little horror. Ocean. I like this. I really like Chris Browse. Big fan of Chris Browse's stuff. He did. He worked, of course, on uh, Tom Strong. Oh, Loveless is really good too. We got Azarello working on it. Um, I, I like Loveless. Oh, Testament with Liam Sharp. Yep, he's doing um, Green Lantern now with uh, Grant Morrison and uh, DC. Okay, I'll have to check that out. Another Loveless. Route 666. I don't know this book at all. Tony Bedar did it. I didn't know that. Huh. I didn't know he worked for uh for them. Um for Cross Chan. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'll have to check those out. I like Tony's stuff. Ragnarok. Don't know this. A Tony Pop. Oh, this is Tokyo Pop. This is a manga. Huh. Ragnarok again. Another Ragnarok. Okay. Oh, the path. You guys remember the path? Yeah, the path. I remember that one. And we got it again. Oh, so this is signed. Okay, Bart Sears signed it. A whole crap load of people. He must, did he go to Comic-Con where they signed? Where did he get all these signed signatures? I mean, where do you get, you get one or two things, but you get signed by five people. I mean, you're going somewhere, you're going to some event. Divine Right, have no idea what this is. It is a fancy cover, though. So there you have it. Um, no idea what that's it. Oh, Killer Instinct. Another Killer Instinct. I do not know Killer Instinct for, with the, I don't know the name, so... That one's lost to me. Oh, I like his stuff. And I don't know if it's painted inside by you. Uh, City of Heroes. Don't know this book, but I did play the video game. Uh, and it was fun. The Tick. Okay, that's good. Who publishes this? Who is this? This Tick. It's New England Comics Press. Huh. Oh, there's another freaking DV8. This guy has DV8s. Angel's Wings, another manga. Marvel, what the hell? What is Marvel? It's like an ad book? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna have to fold up. Uh, what is this? Oh no, I can't even read that. Okay, something. Extreme Sacrifice. Oh snap. That is no joke right there. Oh, there's another one. Young Blood. Misplaced. Victory with some she got a big old ass. Victory. Uh <laughs> that's crazy, dude. That's insane. Um Wrote again. Don't know what that is either. These are all these image books that I have no idea. And this symbol. Um, when did they change? When did they go into that? Let me look this up. 
I'm just curious because all these are all kind of like this other type of um, logo for the image um, brand and I've never seen it before so I'm curious what years this was 2003 huh okay never seen it that looks a little bit reminds me that reminded me of um, Ghost in the Shell a little bit glory yeah oh my gosh this is just like pinups what the hell is this yeah there you go boom just like pinups dude glory dig it Dig it. Love bites. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay, love bites. Oh, snap. Pokemon. And the freaking Punisher. And you know what? I've always been interested in Scud. I know nothing about Scud, but there you go. Okay. There you have it. Oh, I remember this one. Way of the Rat. One and two. And I remember liking it. I don't know who's in it. But I remember thinking that was a good book. Um, now we've got Banished Knights. Do not know that at all. Do not know that. But I kind of like these covers. There's a girl there. She's doing her thing. Selling books. Okay. Warlands. I don't know that either. Okay, Warlands. Man, I am still out of it. These are all are like early 2000s. And I was... Oh, what was I doing? I think I just got a divorce around then. So I was probably not reading comic books. If I recall correctly. So that was probably why I didn't know about it. Um... Warlands, another one. I do like the covers. Very, very Japanese manga y. A lot of these, huh? We're seeing a lot of that kind of deal. Eh, here's no licensed product. Good old fashioned Transformers. A bunch of Transformers up in this biscuit. Armada. Huh. I don't know what it would be like to draw Transformers all day. Might be fun. Might be horrible. I like this cover. I like this cover. Oh, yeah, Chris. Oh, well, no wonder. Yeah. Bachalo. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know if it's Spanish or what. Bachalo. Interesting. Check this out, guys. Bachalo, Chris Bachalo, which is the artist, is got gets top billing over the writer, Joe Kelly. I've not seen that before. What's that about? What's, what's with the artist getting top billing? Look at this. Maybe because you're just a badass, or like, you know what, dude? You get the you get the front. Huh. I do like the covers. These look cool. I mean, this one not so much, but the other ones I really like. I mean, look at this. I mean, just sit here and look at this freaking detail and all this craziness. I mean, what's going on here? This is like, he's got to sit here and figure that out. You got that. It's nice. There's something lost, though. The simplicity, you know? There's, like, your eye does get excited about all these things, but there's something nice that just about simple design and, like, you know, uh, legibility, you know? Things that you can understand, you can read. There's another Saurians cross-gen. Man, I thought cross-gen only had, like, six titles. I'm uncovering a whole crud of titles. Speaking of which, Sigil. This is one of the originals, though. But some of these other Saurians and every, the Way of the Rat and everything, those I feel like are like a, the second wave. More Sigils. I do like these uh, covers. Now, I didn't know Barbara wrote so much of these. She must have been one of their big in-house writers. Sigil. I mean, she's writing like a mug. Sigil. Sigil. Sigil and gum. So this is all about cross gen. Um, well, deviate cross gen poison elves. That's what this is all about. More sigil. More sigil. Is this gonna? Are we gonna end the box? We're getting close to the end. Sigil. 
sigil 15, 16, 17, 18. That stack out. Next up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll just jump to the chase. All the way up to 25, 26. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So, oh, Chuck Dixon. Yeah, Andy Smith. Okay, yeah. So, he's got all, a lot of freaking sigils. Okay, last books. And then we're done. Shidi, shi, Shidima. Shidima. Do not know this from a hole in the head. But he's got all the different variant covers. Shidima. There you go. And, of course, our number two. So, that is it. I spent 25 bucks for 150 comics. It's about 16 cents each. I'm not complaining. That was fun. Thank you for checking me out, spending a half an hour here with me. Uh, hopefully did it on 2X or something, maybe, <laughs> to make it go quick. Anyway, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Check out my new um, stuff coming up. I hope you guys are having fun during Comic-Con. That's coming up. Um, and there you go. Have a good one. Thanks, guys.